syntax for uh, scripting and shell integration. Um, so this is the website, and it's apparently good to make a live demo and to break the odds. I figured I could uh, prepare slides and do the demo at the same time.
so you can tell it to run the, the, the image just as script normally, headless, or if you want a, a debug mode and still have the, the graphical environment and so on. And also it will uh, um, uh, take care of passing the arguments in the, in the correct way to the image, uh, gathering a few uh, uh, small details about the environment and giving them, uh, preparing them for the, the image to use as well. So, yeah. The second, second thing is that, well, in small group there is no clean way to write code in the file uh, because uh, we can write methods, we can declare new classes, and the syntax is between, in between is the browser. So it's not really uh, uh, practical to type up one or to draw something in the file. So we um, extend a bit the syntax so that you can write a script that will recognize the, the sharp bang first line um, uh, in the script, and then you will write a sequence of chunks. Uh, at, at the moment, there are two kinds of, of chunks, evaluation uh, chunks, which, which will be evaluated uh, as soon as they, write, they are read in the file, and method of chunks, which will, which will define new methods. Uh, contrary to GNU Smalltalk and other uh, uh, file-based uh, Smalltalks, the, the the structure of the, of the syntax is flat, there is no, no nesting. Uh, there is a reason for that. And the third thing is that you get a prepared image with uh, the, the modified compiler uh, for the new syntax. Uh, the necessary machinery to uh, load the script, run it, etc. when the image, is, the, the image starts. Plus a few packages that, that are nice. Uh, if you want to write um, uh, shell script. So. Very simple. Uh, it just uh, expects uh, um, an expression and we print the, print the, the result. Um, okay. So, as you have seen, uh, my slides, or slide, my presentation is itself a power script. So, if you want to, to write a bit more complicated code, you, you can define methods like this. 
So, I will, in this case, I define the method on the coral growing class. Uh, etc. This is the, the constructor. I can define the instance method as well. So um, we have a bit, uh, uh, we have a direction that is a bit different from the other text-based models. Uh, the, the goal of Coral is absolutely not to, to develop complex programs in files. Uh, there's no way I developed uh, the debugger and the browser. Uh, and just writing the few scripts that I have here, I uh, already run into uh, uh, into problems because I have half the code in the image committed under Monticello and then the other half is committed under Git or not at all in this case. But if you have two different versions, just if you have two different version control systems, it's uh, a recipe for disaster and for forgetting code. So uh, the, the idea is rather that the command screens will be just a way to invoke or to, to define a really simple behavior and if you need uh, complex behavior then you will, you will prepare an, an image with all the code preloaded in it uh, and your script will simply invoke what is already in the, in the image so in turn I think the, I will try to push Coral more in the direction of uh, RVM if you know uh, this tool in the Ruby world so RVM is a, a set of scripts that allows you to build the Ruby interpreter of different versions to switch between versions of the interpreter and each and to have sets of packages that are already uh, installed. So if you want to run an old uh, Ruby on Rails uh, application, you can prepare an environment uh, where this will work. And if you want to run uh, your latest building edge scripts, then you can switch another environment. So it's really similar to the, the cloud management uh, or deployment tools um, uh, in this area. Uh, yeah. So this, uh, this allows you to just keep what is specific to your script inside the file and then any generic code or any complex code will be developed in the image with all the wrong parts and that's the problem. Uh, I said just before that the, the coral syntax, uh, we kept it flat with, uh, with a sequence of chunks. So that means that you have to repeat uh, the, the class name uh, each time. But the goal is that uh, in the long term, um, we would like this syntax to replace the, the chunk format uh, altogether. So maybe we will add new kinds of chunks for any kind of information that, that could be versioned or file out uh, of the image. Okay. So there's another thing when you write scripts, especially in, uh, in Bash and, and so on, is that the, the command line arguments come in uh, a big um, uh, array mm -hmm. and it's always a pain to, uh, to uh, recognize which arguments were passed, in, especially if you have complex uh, uh, complex uh, options and, and arguments. 
So in the last few weeks, I've written a little uh, set of classes and which form a DSL uh, to specify uh, what is a command, what is an option, what is a posi positional parameter. Uh, the subcommands I didn't implement yet, but they will, they, uh, they, uh, they will come. Uh, when you specify an option, you can give it uh, its short form or the long form and whatever parameter it takes. Um, when you describe a, a parameter, you can define if you want this parameter to be a number, to be a new, uh, URL or a file path. Uh, so it will not just be a, a string and the system will give you a full, uh, a full object. Uh, and also you can uh, give all the descriptions and the documentation for all of the, uh, the commands, options and, and so on. So given this information, the, the system uses petty parser to analyze the, 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 all the arguments. So the sequence of arguments and also the syntax of individual arguments uh, themselves. And in turn, it will also be able to, uh, to generate uh, all the help, uh, the main page, uh, possibly the shell completion functions and whatever, whatever you need. So this is a, a little bit of code that was inspired by uh, the new friends and uh, Cree in the, in the Ruby world. So, thanks. There is someone on the mailing list, I don't remember his name, working on a 
adding new rules to make it uh, compatible with the, the Linux model syntax. So that that would be uh, uh, an addition. I, I must say I like the, the redline uh, way of uh, declaring method methods because it's a bit uh, uh, more terse than the using the square brackets. So I don't know. I, I think we should discuss uh, about that. Uh, so there is basic support for uh, coloring and uh, escape sequences in the, in the terminal, but it's absolutely uh, not complete uh, at the moment. The argument pars parsing stuff and a little bit of uh, integration with the, uh, the external system using most process, common shell, and the, the file system um, package. So, yeah, in the future, in the real short term, there is the, the supplement the lines, uh, supplements in the, that I have to implement. And uh, I will try to do a, a proper release that uh, everyone can download in one click uh, in the next few weeks. Uh, so, that's for the uh, real short term. Uh, in the medium term, something really important is proper reporting because. If you have a syntax error at the moment, the script just exits and nothing, nothing happens. So it's a bit uh, problematic. The redevelopment loop we get uh, should get really, really much better um, uh, thanks to, to Camille Rubuni because he implemented already uh, um, basically an equivalent of a read line and multi line editing in the, in the terminal. So we should get a really uh, 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 really good interactive uh, uh, redevelopment uh, at this point. Uh, of course, running uh, Coral Sprints will exercise lots of places in the system uh, that need uh, fixes. So I was thinking of streams in, par in particular, OS process, uh, probably the VM because currently there is no way to uh, to exit the VM with a, a process status other than zero, which is a bit um, a problem. Uh, and there are plans to use the, the kernel image, which is really small to have script that launch fully, uh, even more, much faster than, than uh, uh, If we look in the really long term, what I would like to do, uh, or to have, is a uh, full-fledged inspector or, or debugger even in the, in the command line. So there is a tool, uh, again from Ruby, called Pry, which implements this. So basically it's, a, it's like the inspector in the, uh, in the graphical uh, small talk environment, except since we are in the, on the terminal, there are text commands to list instance variables and to explore the, the object above. Uh, dynamically, so that would be really nice to, uh, to have in parallel as well. So I'm finished, just, just a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. Very good.